Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of NASCAR Heat 5 Volume 2 Career Mode here on the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. Today we are throwback racing here in the Southern 500 and Darlington Raceway. You get a glimpse of our throwback paint scheme right there in the background. It is a throwback to Paul Menard in the 27 car way, way back, well over a decade ago, back in his DEI days when he uh, drove uh, the, I think actually the 15 it was when he drove on at DEI if I'm not mistaken. One of our community members in the Discord made this livery, so a big thank you to them you know who you are here as we would get ready for some qualifying here in Darlington as I didn't know what to expect when it came to Darlington Raceway here with this four-star car for Richard Childress Racing but what I did know was we still need to make sure we have a respectable top 15 run at the least here to continue to have a solid points run this season well we would qualify 20th place here for the Southern 500 so right off the bat not necessarily where we want to be in terms of the qualifying position here as you can see uh, the rest of the order currently on your screen so we got some work to do but this has kind of been the general area that we've been putting ourselves in in qualifying all season long our teammate of Reddick and Austin Dillon both qualify uh, ahead of us is Kyle Bush and Kyle Larson the Kyle and Kyle show uh, would be there on the front row as we were ready to go green flag racing Larson still looking for his first win in this career mode right now in that number 500 motorsports Chevrolet in his re debut you could say here to the NASCAR Cup Series this season so we'll see if maybe uh, at Darlington if that'll be his opportunity to finally go to victory lane in what has been a very strong season. Larson currently the top driver in points without a race victory here. So we know Larson's good. We know he has the speed, but does he have enough here under the lights in Darlington? And we're about to find out here as we were ready to go green flag racing alongside that number 23 of Bubba Wallace now as we're going to be underway in green flag racing here in the Southern 500. Justin Haley there just in front of us alongside Alex Bowman. A long race here in the Southern 500, even when you're doing a 25% race. It is still a very lengthy race. Daniel Suarez just behind Martin Truex Jr. up the inside here. And there you see Ross Chastain and that McDonald Chevrolet as well coming through the inside to make a pass on us. So already losing a couple of positions to the outside. When you restart on the outside, you got to be so careful here in Darlington. I hate restarting on the outside in Darlington because there's not a lot of room between you and the AI. And there's a bump on towards the exit of turn two that if you hit in the the wrong spot it will just completely kick the back of your car out and the only place for that car to go really is the wall so we're hoping to not do that on a restart tonight usually it happens at least once every time i come to this track here on a restart but hopefully today we will change that uh pattern here now as you can see it's passing justin haley but the opening laps weren't the greatest to me here i would lose a spot to michael mcdowell in that number 34 car i had matt Benedetto knocking down the door here trying to make a pass here for 23rd uh and actually on lap seven now already he would go up the inside here into turn one and drive away from me so we dropped down to p24 but then as the laps are going on here uh uh, same lap actually I would actually be able to pass that number 23 of Bubba Wallace so up into P23 but like I said as the laps were going on I was noticing that this car was actually quite competitive on the longer run it didn't take a whole lot of laps but I can tell you the first you know seven eight nine 10 laps definitely were just more about survival hanging on to the car but once we got to that point uh, you can see lap 12 now I'm starting to go in the right direction so I felt like on the long run we actually had a really competitive maybe top 10 speed kind of car but obviously we got to get ourselves in a good position here to be able to do that now because if we fall down to 23rd 24th here on the short run we're not going to have a chance to get to the top 10 by the time the stage comes to a close so obviously hoping that we're going to stay green flag racing for the whole stage here there will be a green flag like pit stop needed uh, if it stays green here in stage one now but we were continuing forward we passed Alex Bowman we get up the inside of our teammate of Tyler Reddick we pass him for 16th then up the inside of Austin Zindrick actually decided to go for a bit of a slider right here down into turn three I sail it off into the corner then we're going to try and just slide up in front of that 33 machine and up into 14th and uh, we were just continuing to move on but here on lap 20 some, uh, some smoke there up ahead of us and that was actually from the 21 of Matt DiBenedetto who passes earlier in this race caution flies not what i wanted to see everybody comes into the pit lane to fill it up on field four tires we gain one spot there uh because of my so uh we're up into p12 and unfortunately 
we're gonna be restarting right here on the outside so i'd already talked about it. i don't like restarting on the outside uh, when it comes to darlings and you know there's some tracks where you can get away with restarting on the outside and i don't mind it but i don't really prefer it at most tracks but darlington i just absolutely despise being on the outside here and we got to be really really careful once again here as we exit turn two and second restart and we're okay we didn't hit that bump didn't kick the car out here as we head down this back straight away but as well when you restart on the outside here in the southern 500 actually i clipped the wall on the entrance to turn three but it's really easy to just lose a bunch of time in positions here on the outside restarts and unfortunately i clipped the wall so good through three and four a couple of times that we dropped down to p16 got our darlington stripe for the night here uh with just a few laps to go in stage one we were p12 a lap ago now we're down to p17 alongside logano trying to get back clear of him uh into p16 or sorry austin centric not joey logano there and unfortunately centric would clear me on the exit of turn four so sure enough down into 17th place that we go. Alex Bowman there just behind us alongside uh, the number 38. I believe that was of Anthony Alfredo having a respectable run so far there. Uh, but we continue to the final lap of the stage. Bowman passed me. He passed Tyler Reddick. I would get up the inside of Reddick, but it wasn't enough. It was a P18 result here in stage one. So things not looking favorable for this number 27 Spotify Menards throwback Chevrolet here today. Austin Dillon though, on the other hand, up inside the top five. His two teammates, myself and Reddick, outside their top 15. We would repair the car, put four tires on, and make a couple of minor adjustments and get ready to go green for the start of stage two, which is now underway in here in Darlington. It is time to get amped. Let's turn up the volume. There you have the amp segment here from the Southern 500 in Darlington Raceway, currently running in the 20th position, not where we want to be here on lap 3 of 25. Got a few less laps here in the stage. Martin Truex Jr. Uh, was up front battling alongside Kyle Busch for the lead of this race, but it looks like Kyle Busch today is really on a whole different level. Kyle Busch is very, very, very fast in that uh, Toyota Camry there for Joe Gibbs Racing, so good luck beating him, and I believe Kyle Busch, if he wins today, that would be his second win, if I'm not mistaken, on the season now, uh, which would tie him for the most of anybody here as a caution would actually come out relatively early in stage two and we're getting things that i don't want here tonight in darlington outside restarts and cautions we you know i don't mind cautions usually but not today we don't want these cautions because we just had this chat here a few moments ago a few minutes ago about the long run that's really what's benefiting my 27 car here tonight under the lights in darlington short runs are not going to get me anywhere except going backwards so we were hoping of course for some green flag racing and right now we seem to be struggling to get some consistent long runs here in this 27 kyle bush continues to lead down this back straightaway i'm alongside kyle bush's teammate here of christopher bell uh the only JGR driver that's really been struggling this season is Hamlin. Uh, Truex as well as Kyle Busch have all been so, so strong here. And even Ty Gibbs when he hopped in the 19 car, uh, very strong as well as we would actually kind of catch our teammate of uh, Tyler Reddick off guard right there, get the 17th position over him. Uh, and now 12 laps to go in this second stage. Time's running out quick. There isn't going to be a pit stop necessarily because of that caution earlier here. Uh, so we can go as hard as we possibly want here as we were now passing the number 78 of BJ McLeod. A couple under Dogs having really good days here in Darlington. BJ McLeod in the 78. Uh, Michael McDowell as well in the 34 is running very well up towards the top 10. So definitely got to keep an eye out on that 34 McDowell who could surprise everybody here under the lights in Darlington now as we were continuing to get going. The tires wearing, the run getting longer, and that was benefiting myself. I was now at the inside of Austin Centric here for the 14th position. Joey Logano just up ahead. And for the second time tonight, I'm actually going to pull a bit of a slider there on the 33 of Austin Centric. So up to P14. Then we run down Logano. We're going to go to the outside of that number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford Mustang here and try to take that 13th spot away. But, well, there it is again. The caution comes out uh, not 
what we want to see and that's going to bring everybody into the pit lane here pretty much for four tires uh, as well as of course filling it up on feel the one time i don't want to see a bunch of cautions we just cannot seem to escape cautions it seems so far so we restart p13 for the last dash here in stage two it's only going to be three laps remaining and you actually did see i believe it was the 17 of chris busher that stayed out or sorry not the 17 no it's the 77 of justin haley that stayed out on the racetrack so elected to not pit but he actually pitted on the previous caution so that's why i stayed out on this caution seeing if they can maybe get some stage points in that number 77 car but it's going to be a difficult task but it is only three laps so it certainly is possible uh for that 77 of justin haley but you can already see kyle bush martin truex jr they've gone by and taken the position harvick up into third as well kyle larson going up the inside so haley is falling down the order very very quickly here only a couple of laps of racing remaining in this second stage here now i'm in a, a position where we could maybe get stage points because of that 77 being so slow but there we have michael mcdowell just electing to not give me any room whatsoever and now we're in the same lane as the 77 and it's really really stacking us up here down this back straightaway i didn't want to do anything over aggressive and get myself in trouble but speaking of that here we are three wide into turn three with kurt bush in the 43 of eric jones some contact made but somehow we make it work but down into turn one it got a little bit messier on this final lap here again with kurt bush trying to thread the needle there going to my outside so down into 14th place straight behind that 77 of justin and Haley now the inside of him down the spine straight away so what looked like a potential opportunity to get stage points ends up with absolutely no um, fortune on our side whatsoever we end up P13 as Kyle but still comes through to sweep the first two stages Chastain has to run there on the exit of turn four but it's not enough we cross the line for a 13th place effort here in this second stage from the Southern 500 Martin Truex Jr. Kevin Harvick Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin all up there in the top five as well. Michael McDowell rounding out the top ten as everybody other than Justin Haley and Joey Gase are going to stay out. Those two, though, electing to come into the pits. So then, getting ready to go green for the start of this third and final stage here. It's going to be 33 laps of racing uh, to the end of this thing. And based off of the trends, I think we can all agree that the likelihood of a long green flag run is pretty low tonight in Darlington here. Uh, as some races, of course, you get those really really long green flag runs in a third and final stage and then you get a caution within like the last 10 laps that's kind of very nascar heat uh then sometimes of course you get uh quite a few cautions and i'm ex thinking that's exactly what we're going to get here tonight darlington is i wouldn't be surprised if we see a minimum of two to three cautions in this third and final stage here but not a terrible opening lap but unfortunately up the inside goes christopher bell in that number 20 card down towards it turn one so now we're at a bit of a disadvantage and the 20 is already clear in that ream toyota camry Ross Chastain gets clear in the 42. Here comes Joey Logano at the inside as well and bringing his teammate of Ryan Blaney with him in that throwback to I believe that was his uh, father of Dave Blaney's paint scheme back in the day. Uh, as you see right now up ahead Hamlin uh, right now passing Martin Truex Jr. up in his second place. Harvick still fourth Larson fifth as Kyle Busch continues to lead but down to P16. Here comes Suarez up the inside. That's going to shuffle us down to 17th place here in these final 31 laps underway. So not the restart we were looking for but I was not surprised one bit by that restart considering the outside restart position that we had found ourselves in immediately though putting the fight back to the inside of that track house alliance teammate there of uh, daniel suarez down this back straightaway knowing that we got to get pushing as hard as we can we only have one more pit stop to do in this race so we got to be on it here and actually the car kicked in a little bit earlier this time around than it did previous runs so we were already passing joey logano up the inside of christopher bella like i said i mean if we get a long run here i genuinely believe we have a top 10 car and up in the 13th place we go and we were trying to look up the inside now of Ross Chastain and that McDonald's throwback one more time here going for that 12th spot here and down into turn one uh, unfortunately he was back out of us I just couldn't quite put the fight to him on the exit of the corner but then the caution comes out again there it is where everybody's going to come into the pit lane here for two cans of feel uh, as well as four fresh tires there so we gain one spot on the pit lane so there's a positive but another short run coming our way and we only going to have 22 laps of racing remaining here so we have enough feel now uh to make it to the end of this race but now it's just like please 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 stay green until the end of this race and give me an opportunity to do something now what happened here up front well the 77 of justin haley stayed out again and now there it is we make a big mistake there on the exit of turn two we hit the bump that we talked about early on in the episode and we might have done it on what could have been the final restart of the race and now we have damage to right side 
right front and even the rear bumper of the car. Someone must have hit me from behind there after that happened, but immediately I was feeling the effects dropping down the order it down into P16. I hit the wall again into turn one on lap 73. It was just getting worse, and we were about to find ourselves outside of the top 20 now. Sideways there on the exit of turn two. Contact with the 23 above a wall. There goes Suarez up the inside, bringing the 47 of Senhouse as well, and we drift down back to where it all started earlier, 73 laps ago, and then fortunately though, uh, as the run would go on, it would start to still benefit our car. Uh, we pass Joey Logano. We get up the inside of the 23 of Bubba Wallace. We're running down. Uh, Tyler Reddick who passes William Byron and then I would follow through as well. So we start to crawl back uh, into the mix here. But things, of course, not looking pretty favorable for us at this point here as we were all over the back now of our teammate Tyler Reddick working on trying to pass him. We're going to try and cut down onto the apron here on the exit of turn two. But it's going to kick the rear end out and we're going to slide into the inside. Well, a big hit there to the inside. Well, it stays green, but a huge costly error for myself in this spot of Hymenard's throwback to Chevrolet as we head down into turn three and we drop down to 30th place alongside that 17 of Chris Buescher and then the caution actually comes out again not sure what this one was for I could not find anything any reasoning for the caution but I said you know what we dropped down to 30th place at this point let's just bring it into the pit lane you know put four tires on it fill it up with fuel it doesn't even matter and let's just see what we can make happen here on a late race restart there so not sure why the caution like I said uh actually came up but we only lose four positions by actually pitting actually we only end up losing three because Kurt Busch loses 23 he pitted so I'm assuming that he is the reason uh that we were under caution maybe a tire failure or something because if it was an engine uh he should have been out of this race here now but less than 10 laps to go in the southern 500 here from Darlington Raceway and Kyle Busch has led from start to finish he has been uh genuinely unbeatable in that 18 cars so I don't really see things changing here but I was on the move as quick as I could going three wide with Balicki and Timmy Hill uh through three and out of turn four and we make sure uh that we just get on the move and we got up into p26 passing uh Alfredo there we move up into 25th and like I said we were on the move we now had a, a tire advantage actually over the AI drivers but then yep six laps ago the Kaja come so uh, again, so that was going to force, I think, a two-lap dash on the field. We did not need that. We needed as many green flag laps as we can get there just so we could use that tire advantage. But now we're only going to have two laps to use that advantage, and we start on the outside. I mean, everything that I didn't want to have happen in this race pretty much happened uh, with uh, just the, the cautions coming out, the outside restarts, etc., and, of course, issues for myself from my own doing, making my own costly mistakes, uh, hitting the bump there on the exit of turn two and this time we're going to get through it without any issues and fortunately an opportunity to actually jump down to the inside is going to be open and available here down into turn three but obviously the damage has been done we're down into 26 place Kyle Busch has had so many restarts where he has had to hold off the field and actually some contact there with Haley sideways on the exit of turn four he saves it after some more contact and we start this final lap here in the southern 500 Kyle Busch has led from start to finish he's dominated he won stage one he qualified pole before winning stage Stage one, he won stage two. He is about to do a grand slam here in Darlington now as he heads down this back straightway into turn three. And sure enough, it's going to be Kyle Busch cruising to victory here in the Southern 500. I'm in the wall for one final time just to get one last Darlington stripe here as we exit turn four. Not the night we were looking for in Darlington. We finished worst than where we qualified, unfortunately, here as we cross the line for a very, very disappointing. 24th place finish. Not much went right for us tonight here under the lights in Darlington, which is, uh, you know, very unfortunate because with the playoff situation, that certainly didn't do us any favors whatsoever. And shout out to Michael McDowell, who ended up finishing second place. What a drive from McDowell, our teammate of Austin Dillon inside the top 10. Myself in Reddick, though, uh, on the other hand, of course, just having some struggles here tonight in Darlington. And Reddick's now 35 points below the cutoff line. And you can see right there, we're P14, but not very comfortably ahead of that cutoff line ourselves. We got some work to do going into the into the next one in Dover, but I'm confident about that race. I think we can run top 10 there. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time of your day for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one from Dover. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day, everybody.